Hey guys, today's video is special for a couple reasons. This diorama is for a challenge with Aira from Bentley House Minis. Many of you already know her amazing work, but if you haven't seen it yet, she makes amazing pieces normally in one of the dollhouse scales. She did an Adams Family dollhouse over a decade or so, and it is absolutely incredible. If you haven't seen it, you need to go check it out on her channel. She's also done some abandoned pieces over the years, and we thought it would be an awesome challenge to get together, make our own abandoned scenes, and try to take the most realistic photo possible. So we both started with a 10 inch by 12 inch base and could make whatever we want with the goal of making that realistic photo at the end. We were allowed to use our tools, so I used my 3D printer a bit here. So let's see what we can come up with. So I started making the walls with my paint peeling technique with liquid latex and now I'm painting this table that I 3D modeled and printed. For the table I stippled on one color and then airbrushed over another color. That kind of just gave it more of a wood grain texture and look to it. And then these chairs I'm just using one color. For these two though I'm using that liquid latex technique again. I'm dabbing on some of the liquid latex rubber and then airbrushing right over it immediately. Once that dries, I can use my finger or an eraser and start peeling up different parts of the paint. And here I'm just painting the window frames. I'm using hot glue to glue the window frames in. I'm being really sloppy with these because I know that I'm going to cover them up with all kinds of vines and curtains and stuff later. And I'm trying to move fast so that I have more time for other things later. So for the curtains, I'm using this really thin tool fabric and I'm just trying to glue it onto this piece of metal here. I think this is the only time I did it with the piece of metal. I glued the other ones just directly to the windows to be even faster. But tried to glue it in a little bit of a bunched up pattern. We're going to do something different to these a little bit later so it doesn't matter too much. Now to make them look old and dirty, I'm airbrushing a yellowish brown color and I'll add dirt and things later as well. So for this, it's the first time I've actually tried it but I'm using a torch and I'm just lightly touching it and I love the effect of it just kind of melting and bunching up. It just makes it look really messed up and old. Now for the floor, I wanted to do a wooden floor. So I'm just painting the base black so if it sees through at all, it's dark. And then I'm cutting these pieces of wood, I cut a whole bunch of them, and then splayed them all out for the floor. Once I put them all together, I'm taping them with this masking tape, and then I'm gonna Add some glue to the base, flip this on over, and glue it down. So that I could have some broken floorboards later, I'm removing just a couple, and then I'm gonna add some broken pieces in once it's all glued down. To weather the floorboards, I'm using this brown color first, and then I go in with a darker grayish color, and I think that looked pretty good in the end, though I do add a lot of dirt and junk on top of it after. I made sure to add more dirt in these areas where the floorboards were broken and removed.
to make the ceiling a lot easier and faster, I wanted it to be wooden boards as well. I bought this wooden flooring for a dollhouse and cut it to size and glued it to the top base. And now I'm just airbrushing some gray to start weathering the thing. You're not going to see it all that much, so I think this might be good. Now these are just little pieces that I 3D modeled and printed just like all of the furniture. I thought they'd be a great little addition on the table. Now to start making the furniture look really abandoned and old, I'm adding some brown pigment powder everywhere and it starts to really look like it's had years of dust collecting. To really dirty up these chairs, I'm using some rubbing alcohol with the pigment powder and then adding some drier pigment powder on top really kind of gives a messy but dirty and grungy look. I decided to add some pictures on the wall, so I took a couple pictures that I've taken just from trips in my past and printed them out, glued them on the wall, then used some watered down glue to get them really wet and started kind of picking away at the bottoms of them so they look kind of tattered and torn. This is a couch that I bought. It's made for dollhouses and it came in this mint green color. So I decided to airbrush it this nasty old yellow color. And then this is actually a tip that I found on Bentley House Mini's page a while back. Just using a Dremel tool to rip up parts of the fabric on this couch so that it looks like it's been torn up and used and abused for a long, long time. Then I used some more pigment powder to dirty it up. I did swap the furniture around a little bit because I thought it was a lot better with the couch here in this position. It just opened the room up a little more. It's a little late to add this, but I decided at this point that I did want some baseboards around the base of the walls. So I'm just adding some white glue on top and then airbrushing right over it. This just makes a paint cracking effect and then gluing those on. Now for the big transformation, adding a ton of vines. I wanted it to look like these vines have been growing in through the windows for a long, long time and almost reaching up into the ceiling. So I started with this Spanish moss and then began adding different types of vines in throughout to make a nice variety. And here I decided my modern photos weren't cutting it, so I found some old black and white photos on the internet and printed those out, did the same process, made them wet with the watered down glue, and kind of torn them on the bottom. Then I just needed to make sure the inspector was okay with all of my work. Now to take the photo. These are the two lights I used, and I used a photo on my monitor in the back to make it look like there was a real sky outside. I used hard light sources, so it created shadows and light beams coming through the windows, and then I used some atmospheric haze from a can, which brought it all together. And here's the photo I got. Go check out Aira's video over on her channel, Bentley House Minis. I put the link in the description below. She did a really awesome job and this collaboration was so much fun. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't so you can see all my future projects. Thank you.